button. I'm so sorry. Whoops, Courtney fumbled while trying to get a tissue sample from Mel. She's, oh, she did it again. Hey guys, thanks for tuning back into my channel. It's your girl Cassie Simmer back with another video. If this is your first time here, comment down below, I'm new. So I can personally welcome you. If this isn't your first time, comment down below, I'm back so we can get this party started. Um, so this is a continuation of the series I started yesterday on how to master the doctor career. We have our um, Sim here, Courtney, who's super tired. Um, she had a long day at work. She is currently on level two. She just got a promotion. So today we're going to be playing level two of the career. <laughs> She's so mad. Oh my gosh. Okay, the neighbors are making so much noise. Let's go and pound on their door. She's so mad right now. <laughs> Why is it so like honestly and we have an apartment that has gremlins So when she goes to sleep at night, they break everything and just everything just makes a huge mess So that kind of pisses her off too. Oh, they stopped making noise. Okay, perfect So we don't have to go pound on their door works out Wonderfully, so let's clean up a little bit get her some food and Then get her to sleep so she can be ready for work tomorrow. Um, I can't wait to see what we'll be doing at work tomorrow because the first couple days are pretty boring. We just like made beds, mopped puddles, got snacks. Like we just did a lot of eating on the first day. So I hope we get to do a lot more today. I did have this recorded yesterday, but somebody pointed out to me that my voiceover stopped working halfway through the video to shout out to you. Um, luckily I didn't save. So we're gonna go ahead and do level two today. All right, so his work for Courtney starts in about an hour. So we're gonna go ahead and take a shower because that's the only thing that she's on red for. And then she's gonna have to head to work. Hopefully she can finish her shower. Hope she's not still like bad hygiene because technically she was in the shower. Let's see. No, she didn't get to finish her shower. They should have showers at work. Like honestly, they should be, <laughs> there should be showers because they're doctors. Like we're gonna enable free build. 24 hour shifts and stuff. You need a shower. Just take a quick shower. Just like a super quick one. Cause we do have a busy day at work today. Swab a patient sample, research health reports, transfer patient case. Cause I really want her to get a promotion. All right, so that's enough of that shower. So let's research some health reports. And then there's no new patients right now. So we can't really do much. These pe people have already been seen. So we can't swab or anything. Um, chat with the patients. We can chat with them. Oh, I knew she was pregnant. Remember? Oh my gosh. Remember yesterday when I was like, is she pregnant? <laughs> mop up puddle. Where's the puddles? Okay, mop. I really want today to go well. Okay, so we have some new patients here coming in. Let's make sure the exam beds are good to go. Okay, this one needs to be made. I know it's not on the list, but you know, we're gonna do a good job. We're gonna go above and beyond for this raise, you know? I hope that they see that we're putting in that extra effort. Okay, you don't have to mop up every puddle in the entire thing. <laughs> All right, so let's make the bed and then start admitting patients so they're not just here waiting. Admit to exam bed. Admit to exam bed. Admit patient to exam bed. All right, so it also says deliver medication to a patient. These patients have already been diagnosed. So you're gonna see treat patient here and she needs a vaccination not meds so i'm gonna look for someone who needs meds she needs a vaccination not meds so maybe it's him yes treat starry eyes with meds oh drink up it'll make you feel better there you go all right so let's make the bed now that she's there all right so we have a couple of new patients so now we can start swabbing i hope she does good with the swab oh come on oh sorry about that miss i'm gonna have to do it again I'm so sorry. Whoops, Courtney fumbled while trying to get a tissue sample from Mel. She's, oh, she did it again. Swab for sample again, please. All right, finally, she got it, okay. All right, so let's go ahead and analyze this patient sample. We're gonna practice doing that. Not practice analysis, no. Analyze patient sample. She's the only one we have, so that um, was fine. 
It says a viable tissue sample was successfully collected from Mel Kalahuni. Now Courtney must test in the chemical analyzer machine to get data for help with her diagnosis. Let's see if it works. Yay, we actually get to do this stuff today. I'm so excited. <laughs> She's so focused. Look at her. <laughs> Acquired the logic skill. All right, so we couldn't get like any type of um, results. So we're gonna go ahead and just like transfer her case since it's already on the board. Transfer patient case. So it looks like she's hot. I wanna like start learning these symptoms and stuff to see what they could mean. We're gonna come back here. I'm gonna practice bio and practice analysis so that hopefully next time we can actually get a real diagnosis because maybe we're just not doing it properly. It says testing of the patient tissue sample in the chemical analyzer was inconclusive. Courtney was confused by the questionable data results and will need to run further examinations. Oh no, it says her workday will end soon. We're not even halfway through. So we can click on here and actually tell her to stay late so that hopefully we can get a little bit more done. All right. And then we're gonna go ahead and deliver some food and we're gonna try to, um, she's already treated. Um, I already transferred her case. So let's work on this little boy over here. Let's try to get a swab from him. And then we're gonna check his eyes. Oh, come on. Swab for sample. It looks like he has like chicken pox or something. Let's give him some food. No, come here, come here. Give him some food. Examine patient, check his ears. We're trying to get all three bars done here. Good, yes, check his ears. And now we're gonna go back and try to analyze patient sample again. This one is for Taku Akiyama. So this patient here. All right, I know she has to use the bathroom, but I really wanna get this stuff done. <laughs> before she leaves i want her to have like a really good work day please don't end yet oh, where's the puddles i don't even see any more puddles in here i don't see a puddle where's the puddle mm, i don't know oh my gosh we have so many patients like coming up in the front i think we need more nurses to work here oh no she couldn't get it again all right, let's take the patient's temperature since we didn't do that yet. Um, who can we take temperatures for? Oh, we already transferred them. Come on, no, I need to talk to this little boy. Oh, what do I have to do? Can I take his temperature? All right, let me see if I can take his temperature. Sorry, doc, I don't mean to like get in your way, but can I just, oh. Courtney did a good job today. She can really turn this clinic into a beacon for this community. All right, so she did good today. All right, so Courtney is back home. Um, does she have to pay rent? Yes, her rent is due. I'm going to go ahead and get that done so she can go ahead and pay her rent. I can't wait until we can move out of this apartment completely because literally this apartment is like not the best at all. Um, so now we're just, I do want her to like cook something because she's been eating that same meal. <laughs> for Coco Vaughn chicken, really? Acquire the video game skill. Okay, so what do we need to do before the next work day? Treat two patients. We can't do that until we go into work. Um, be friendly to 10 patients, achieve level four charisma skill. I think we can do that just like in the mirror. Do we have a mirror? I don't even think we have a mirror. How do we not have a mirror in the house? Like, come on. Um, I kind of don't want to do it in the bathroom. So let's have like a mirror out here that we can practice our charisma skill after she's done cooking. And I think that will help our performance at work as well. And I'm gonna get her a chess board so that she can play chess by herself and like really work on her logic skill. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so expensive. She only has $494 left. What can I sell in here? I'm gonna start selling things because I literally don't understand why this stuff is so expensive. Uh, there's already like nothing in here. There's not that much stuff I can sell, but I really want her to practice her chess. Might as well sell the TV because we don't use it. All right, this is her mom, as you guys saw from the last episode. Sure, mom, come right in. Agree to hang out. I don't know, but I don't want to go to your place. You come to mine because I'm busy. All right, is she hungry? No, she's not hungry anymore. So let's. 
let's play. Well, her mom is there. Maybe she can play with her. What's cooking good looking? It smells great in the hallway. <gasps> A new neighbor. And look at him. Okay. Invite to eat. Yes. Hold on. We're going to put this chest on hold for a second. Hello. What is his name? Cameron. Oh my gosh. She's so cute. Feel amazing. Likes fitness. Yeah, sure. Oh, he all took my trash out for me. Thank you. Um, friendly, friendly introduction. Um, so let's get the food out. See, it's a good thing I cooked today. Open. All right, so call to meal. <laughs> okay, I'm so excited right now. I don't know why. What time is it? She got to get ready for work tomorrow. Oh, does he like it? This could be a potential love interest. So we'll see. All right. All right, so everybody's done cooking. I mean, done eating. I'm sorry, guys, but I have to ask you guys to leave because work comes first. And uh, I have to like get rest and everything. How do I? All right, goodbye, everybody. Um, it's been fun hanging out, but I really need to get ready for work tomorrow. So I'm gonna have her go ahead and take a shower. Take a speedy shower, yes, please. Cause y'all be taking forever in these showers. Oh, that was fun. Had a Rika moment. Being a genius, this gave them a boost to one of their more practice skills. All right, let's go to sleep. Hopefully, since it's after midnight, I won't have any gremlins come and like break anything tonight. Let's pray, clean this up. All right, work for Courtney starts in about an hour, so I'm gonna have her play before she goes because that's the only thing that she's missing is fun. Yay, and now her fun is on green too. I think she's gonna do really, really well at work today. I think she's ready to just go for it. And I have a good feeling about getting a promotion today. Yay, join! Let's go! Alright, so here we are. Who is this? Who are these people? Um, alright, so, okay, focus. Swab a patient for sample, greet three patients, and check a patient's ears. Alright, so let's go say hi to the patients that we already have. Hey, how you doing? I'm Nurse Courtney. Nice to meet you. Hey, how are you, honey? Friendly introduction. Hey. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Greet our patients. How you doing? I'll be back in a second. Hey, how you doing? And last but not least, hey, how are you? I'm like on the other side. Um, all right, so we're gonna start admitting some patients let's make this bed up first and then start admitting them oh oh somebody has a little stripe not examine patients admit to patient bed admit to patient bed because we do have two beds open currently oh honey and then we're gonna go ahead and try this swab stuff again swab for sample let's get them admitted to that bed I don't know, she has to use the bathroom. All right, let her use the bathroom real quick because she's doing good so far. Hurry up. <laughs> oh my gosh, here we go with this. Here we go. Swab for sample. Let's try it again. All right, good. Check patient's ears. Take patient's temperature. All right, so let's go and examine the analysis that we just took from her. Analyze patient sample. You know, we already know the drill. We did this yesterday. So how about Marcus, huh? <laughs> that was fun. But yeah, we are focused at work. Hopefully we can get something today, an actual real patient sample that works. Analysis complete. Yay. We actually did it. Log the results. And then since we're already at the computer, we're going to research the health reports online. Did he not go to his bed? Why didn't he go to his bed? All right, so we're logging the samples. It doesn't look like she's logging samples, but, you know, it looks like she's like on a media site or something, but hey, we got the credit for it. All right, research health reports. That does look like research. And then we're gonna transfer patient case. Where is she going? Where is she going? Is she leaving? 
All right, I know you're hungry, but we really need to like, all right, can't do anything with her. Transfer patient case. Um, and then we have to do more samples. All right, so treat with meds. Let's see who needs treatment, who's already diagnosed. Nope, they don't need meds here. Um, yay, they need meds. Okay. Hi, sir. So doctor told me to give you some meds. Hopefully we can get you out of here soon. You look a little upset. I know. Yep. You'll be right out of here in two seconds. Just drink it all. Yep, there you go. All better. Have a good day. Thank you for coming. Um, let's see. Um, admit patient to bed, please, because he's just wandering around. Look at us. We're already almost two-thirds of the way done. Oh, I should have made his bed. It's all right. All right, so let's start with this patient. Let's check his eyes. Swab for patient sample. So he looks a little dizzy. He doesn't have any spots or stripes or anything. Oh my gosh. Can we get a sample, please? Take temperature. All right, so she got a good sample. Um, so now it doesn't really say anything about can I transfer her case? All right, I want to transfer her case because I do want to keep working on him if they would let me. All right, discuss general health. Well, can I discuss it with him still? Yes, okay, good. Yay, I'm almost all the way to the end of the green line. Oh no, he has stripes now. Where did these stripes come from? His symptoms are getting worse. Let's stay late and figure all this out. Did we check his ears already? Yeah, we did everything. Should we swab another patient for a sample? All right, that's what it's telling us to do. It says his stomach hurts, okay. All right, now let's, who is this? All right, Riku, so let's analyze Riku's. Oh no, come on, she's using the one that's working. Oh wait, no, she's not using it anymore, Riku, okay. All right, no, we're not gonna repair it. We would repair way too much stuff at home already. Come on, let's get all the way to the end of the green. I think we can do it today. There's just not enough time in the day, I swear. All right, log sample. Can, um, excuse me, can I use a computer, please? I just really wanna get this done before I leave. What time is your shift over? Oh, really? Okay, cool. I think she's done. Oh my gosh, and we got a promotion, yes. Courtney has been promoted to medical assistant. She will now make an additional $12 per hour for a grand total of $35 per hour. She has also received the following bonus, $256 and x-ray machines are now available to use at, at work to scan. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be so exciting for the next episode. And exam patients. You can now give medical advice. You can now give bad medical advice. And her next shift is Wednesday at 8 a.m. Okay. I am super excited about this. So is this another neighbor? Let's say hi to her. Hi, Faye. Where's friendly introduction? Oh, she's gone. Oh, okay. All right, we're not gonna, no, we're not. Ugh, I didn't wanna follow her downstairs. But yes, here we are, her um, promotion again. But yeah, so I'm excited. I can't wait to see what happens in the next episode. If you're enjoying this series so far, make sure that you subscribe and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.